everybody. This is our week two video for our Linda and Tommy litter. A uh, little bit of a change this week. As you can see, we've got puppies that are starting to try to walk. Um, all of their eyes are open completely now. They are gaining weight. They are doing great. Um, healthy, healthy batch of puppies. Super proud of, of how Linda's doing. She's a great mom. She takes great care of them. Keeps them really clean. You'll be able to tell by their weight gain. She keeps them really fed. So, um, Mr. Green, I'll show you. Uh, and he's starting to walk some. Now let's see if you want to show him how you walk. You want to walk back to him? And I say that and you're just going to freeze. You've been walking. Well, come on. Come on. <laughs> he said, why'd you put me over here? There you go. There you go. A little puppy wobble. So they're kind of like baby deer right now. They stand up and they shake and they, they'll fall over, but they are really starting to get their, their footing. And um, this time next week, they will be up walking. And this time, two weeks from now, they'll pretty much be running. So uh, it's amazing how much they, they change. Um, but just so you can see their collars right here, we've got Mr. Green, Miss Purple, Mr. Blue is right here, Mr. Red, Miss Pink, Mr. Black and Miss Yellow. So once their uh, their coats get a little bit thicker, um, we will uh, be tying a ribbon around for the video so that you'll be able to see who is who. Are you trying to sit? Yeah. But they are doing really, really good. So they're two weeks old now, so we start our socialization process where we pick them up, um, get them used to being handled. We'll run our fingers through their paw pads, through their gums, uh, handle their ears so that they're used to uh, to being handled and uh, start introducing new sounds so that they're well socialized. Now, where are you going? Where are you going? You on the run? Uh, so all that starts this week. So it's a big, big week for these guys. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, one thing I do want to recommend that you guys order is our lamb chops. So you can get it on Amazon. It's considered the jumbo size. Um, it really helps when your puppy goes home. You'll see by the time they're six or seven weeks old, we have them in the room with them. Uh, they actually lay on it. So you'll see with the puppies, they sleep on top of each other. So with this lamb chop, um, what they'll do when they get older is they will actually lay on top of this. So when they transition from our house to your house, it's kind of soothing for them to have something to lay on. So order your lamb chop on Amazon. Kind of looks like a giant English cream puppy. It's as close as we could get, so get a lamb chop. Um, all right, so I'm going to do the same thing we did last week. I'm gonna pick up each puppy. We'll do this every week. We will go over their weight. And um, like I said, these first couple weeks, there's not a lot to see as far as their little personalities develop. There's a couple of things. Um, you'll see green. What are you doing? But uh, I still like to go over with with you guys what I see the next couple weeks uh, about week four is really when we start to see their little personalities and we can kind of see who's more active who's more laid back um, we'll definitely have more information on that by the time they're six weeks old and you start your picking process so I guess we will start with Mr. Green because he seems to want my attention do you want my attention yes see, I just I I am all over the place, but you can see their little eyes are all started to open. So this is Mr. Green. I have to use my cheat sheet for their weight. Uh, Mr. Green is three pounds, so he's not the biggest male anymore. I uh, got, a, got a surprise one for you that's gained a lot of weight. Mr. Green is the first to walk. Yes, I am very curious. I want to know everything that's going on. That's me, Mr. Green. But this week is when we'll start, like I said, Flipping them over. So within the next couple of weeks, when we do this, we want him to completely relax. He doesn't seem real stressed out anyways. Yes. Also this week, we will get our first pedicures, get our nails trimmed. Yeah, you've got a milk mustache. You've got a milk mustache. So this is Mr. Green, our first puppy to attempt to walk. Doing pretty good. I bet this time next week he's all over the place. He is three pounds. Mr. Green. 
All right, next we will go with Mr. Red. You hear me talking about you? Mr. Red has a really light colored coat. He's gonna be a pretty boy. All right, Mr. Red is 2.8 pounds, so um, tied for our smallest puppy. They're all real close um, in size. All the puppies actually, so um, really, like I said last week, no runts or anything like that. Very, very close in size. Mr. Red was the first male to open his eyes. Yes. Can you see his eyes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's got a really pretty light colored coat. See, I'm gonna be pretty. Yes, I am. Let's see how you do. Ooh. Hey, big guy. Mm. Now I don't look very stressed, do I? Oh, that was a sigh. So this is Mr. Red, 2.8. All right, our next boy is Mr. Black. Mr. Black is also 2.8 pounds, same size as Red. Uh, Mr. Black is super laid back. Uh, I know he's only two weeks old, so that can definitely change, but he just likes to sleep. I do, I haven't really attempted to walk a whole lot. I just prefer prefer to sleep. So we'll see if that sticks. It could be two weeks from now, I could be standing here saying, this is the most active puppy ever. But um, right now he's pretty laid back. All right, so Mr. Black, 2.8, same size as Mr. Red. Nobody yawned this week. Remember everybody yawned for me last week. I can't get anybody to yawn. Y'all must have already had a good nap. Yeah. All right, and now for our um, champion of the most weight gain this week goes to Mr. Blue. Oh, talk about, oh, there's the yawn. Yeah. You trying to yawn? Okay. All right, so Mr. Blue is 3.2 pounds. So um, he, uh, he took the place last week. Mr. Green was the big boy. This week it's blue. Um, he has no problem getting to the food. Is your tongue out? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. So yeah, he's a, I think he's gonna be a big, big boy. So I like to eat. I have no problem pushing everybody out of the way as long as I get to eat. So that's Mr. Blue. You got your tongue out. He is smelling. See, I'm looking for my mama. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, now for our girls, um, we will go in, in size wise, we'll go with, um, we'll go with our biggest girl, who surprisingly seems to be our most active girl right now. She's all over the place. I don't say that, you're being a wiggle worm. Yes, you are. So this is Miss Yellow. Miss Yellow is 2.8 pounds, so our biggest girl is the same size um, as our smallest boy, which is kind of common. So, look at the camera. Don't look at me. This is Miss Yellow. As of right now, seems to be active. I'm just curious of what all is going on. I just want to know. Next in size is going to be Miss Pink. And Miss Pink is 2.6 pounds. She was the first female to open her eyes. I don't know if you can see her eyes right there. But all of their eyes are open and everyone's doing really good. She's like 2.6, I think I just said that. So right in between, not the biggest, not the smallest, but really not enough difference um, to matter with any of these. Let's see how you do. All of their pigments starting to come in really nice. Paw pads are, are turning black. Um, noses are completely black, so pigment is coming in good. Yes. And you'll see over the next couple weeks when I turn them over, they should completely relax. So that's something that we will really start on this week. And then new sounds. We got a lot of stuff this week. Yeah, we do. Thankfully, we have a six-year-old little boy who... Uh, introduces them to plenty of sounds. So they will be well socialized. 
Well, Mr. Green, you just are on my shoe again. You just like my shoe. All right, um, for our last one is Sweet Miss Purple. Oh, Miss Purple, she is so sweet. Um, she is our smallest puppy, not by much. She is 2.4 pounds. She loves her mama. She is a mama's girl. She will lay right on her, right next to her, loves to snuggle. Are you hugging my hand? Are you giving me a hug? She's just a really sweet girl. She is. She wants to be right next to her mama all the time. She's got a grip on my hand right now. Yes, she does. Oh, she's a sweet girl. Hmm. See, I bet you'll fall right to sleep, won't you? Her eyes are closing. And she's asleep. <laughs> Don't you wish you could fall asleep like that? I, I know I do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate to wake you back up. Wake up. Wake up. Hey. <laughs> so that's Miss Purple, our smallest puppy, sweet girl, um, 2.4 pounds, so not really a big difference. I'm going to lay him back down here. Uh, like I said, these first couple weeks, just not a whole lot to see. I don't, <laughs> green obviously is very attached to me there you go um just not a lot because they're just all they do right now is eat and sleep that is basically it over the next couple weeks we'll have a lot going on um week four um we'll go to the vet for another checkup make sure everybody's doing good which they seem to be doing really good gaining weight and everything uh week six we'll get our first round of shots and microchipped um all that information will be in your puppy packet that goes home with you guys um, speaking of going home, only two people have let me know about pickup dates, so if you would, um, please let's go ahead and start working on that because it will be here before we know it. So October the 9th is their going home date. They can go home um, a few days earlier than that if you are picking up. So um, if you are needing them to be delivered to you, let me know so we can start making arrangements for that. That's something that we'll definitely need to, to, to book in advance. Um, we handle all of that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, on our end. So if you do need them delivered, we don't, we don't use a company where they're around other puppies because um, at this age, they don't need to be around other dogs, especially until they've had all their shots. So when you do get your puppy, no dog parks or, or public places like that. Let's make sure that we have all of our shots before they're exposed to that. So let me know about their, their picking up date. Um, the two of you that already have, thank you very much. I got you down. We are good to go with that. And um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll give you a recap on who's who just so you can kind of get a good shot of them here. We got Mr. Green, Miss Yellow, Mr. Red, Miss Pink, Mr. Blue, Miss Purple, and Mr. Black. Um, and this is basically all they do. They sleep and eat. Linda's doing great. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And uh, we will see you back here next week.